Hi, I'm Thelma and welcome to my channel. Today I have for you a DIY on how to make this cute little, well he's adorable, 14 inch gnome. And it's mostly with things from the Dollar Tree. Okay, let me adjust my camera here. Okay, first you will need a 11 by 11 piece of cloth. I uh, got this off of um, from the Dollar Tree. Those scarves that you get, you can pick out any kind you want and just cut it down to 11 by 11 and for the bottom get you one of these stockings cut it from heel just go straight to where it looks like this and you also need the white for the for the beard which I already have some left over from the other stocking you will need a little bit of rice I have to straighten this up just a little. See how I took that point off? Just to make it heavy on the bottom, you will need some rice to fill it in, or beans, or um, gravel, any, any of those little heavy things that you can get. Not gravel, but I'm talking about those little bitty um, marbles. Anything heavy. And you just dump it down in there. Put as much in it until you think that it's heavy enough to stand up. I have just a little bit more, so I'm going to dump the rest. Now, take it, shake it down in there, take the top, and gather it like that. Now get you some twine or, or rope. and wrap it around real tight. Now you will need a hot glue gun too. So make sure that's heating up while you're doing this. And as you go around, just make sure it's all gathered on top of the twine and pull tight. Go around about let me start over here. I lost my grip on it. Okay, it's coming loose here so go ahead. If it does, just glue it. The threading, it didn't, this didn't happen on the other one. But just glue it. That's why it wouldn't gather. Be sure not to burn yourself. And as always, for those of you who are returning, you know I always forget to put my finger guards on. But if you have any, that would they would come handy. Now just make this tight. And start over by going around and around about three or four times. Now let's tie it. Make sure you get it tight. 
I tie mine about three times. Okay, now cut it, shape it, now take your glue and glue this along the top just to give it a secure hold. This is how I make them. I just was playing around with it one day and thought, well, I'm going to make a gnome. And I looked at the ones that I have that my husband bought me. And um, I thought, well, I can do that with stuff from the Dollar Tree. Okay, let that dry for a second. Now you also need some of those little pom-poms. Get the large one. Let's see. And shape it. Make sure you shape it. That way it'll stand up straight. Get any lint off from the red of the stocking. Just measure and see where you're going to From side to side where you're going to um, put your beard. And I made another one, but I already gave it away. Um, another little gnome. And I used um, yarn for the beard. And I'll show you in another episode how to do, how to do that one. Now shape it, just kind of go like that. You're just giving it a nice little circular look. And if any of this didn't go under the thread, just glue it there. And again, be careful, don't burn yourself. Because all you're doing is just gluing to make sure it stays and doesn't open up. Now let me measure this and see. can cut that off just a little bit. Because what you want, you don't want it hanging down. Now, put you some glue. And for the stuffing, I just used mm, used an old pillow, and I'm taking the stuffing out of that. But be very careful so you don't burn yourself like I did. Okay, now, let me get that glue off my finger. Fold this down the center. Make a straight line.
because this this is going to be the bottom of the hat. And just cut this way. Make sure it's straight. Okay. Now, flip this side up a little. start at one corner just putting a little bit of glue making sure you don't leave any gaps in between it this is a very simple easy way to make a gnome I strongly urge if you have uh, those little finger things that you put on like I have um, to use it that way you don't burn your finger see it's welting up because that glue can get real hot and if not you can get them uh, three in a pack at the Dollar Tree for well a dollar Okay, now just let that dry for a second. See if this is big enough to go around. And put put this part in the back okay let's get some stuffing and stuff it just put a little bit in at a time Try to get it all the way up to the tip as you can. I'm just taking my scissors, the end of them, and just pushing up. fluff it as you go because you don't want it to knot up and have like ball looking lumps in it It's almost stuffed. You can also use um, cotton balls to stuff it with if you have any on hand and don't have nothing else. 
Just break them apart, put them in there. Let me fluff that a little bit. It's almost uh, ready. And as you work, get any lint off that you can. See if this works. Okay. We got it on. Now let's glue it. Just raise up. Leave a spot in the front for the nose. Just work all the way around. And then once it dries, you can you can fluff it a little bit more if needed. Be very careful, don't burn yourself. Now, let's put the nose. All it is is one of those little pom pom balls. And then put some put some glue right through here. Push down with your glue gun. Put some slightly over the tip of the nose. And glue some more on the other side. Okay, and it's okay if it rose up a little bit right there, but let me just check it out. We're going to trim the beard just a little, or let me see if we're going to. Just rearrange the body. And there's your little gnome. It's slightly smaller than this one, but that didn't take no time at all. 
All right, I want to thank you all for stopping by and checking out my channel. If you enjoyed today's DIY video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell right next to it so you won't miss any future videos, and leave a comment, and if you feel like it, uh, share. That way it'll help my channel grow. Thank you all, and have a good day. Bye.